Welcome everybody to Scott Cooks. Today, we're outdoors in an RV park in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're gonna do a little cooking on our Blue Rhino Razor. We got some steak, we got some asparagus. Let me show you how we do it. First off, this is the Blue Rhino Razor. It's just like a Blackstone, it's a griddle. Um, I've wrapped the grease trap here thing with foils, makes it for an easy cleanup. Uh, it folds up like a suitcase, you can roll it. It rolls, it folds up flat, I roll it up, throw it in the back of my truck. It's a two burner griddle, it's seasoned, that's why it looks like that. Uh, I'm using just a regular propane tank. I can also put a small camp tank here if I wanted to, and I have done that. So we're getting really good and hot. And the trick here, guys, is to preheat this griddle and then drop your temperatures down. And for our asparagus, we're gonna need a little oil. Okay, and I'll get a spatula and I'll spread all that around. And I've taken a knife and moved the rubber band up so it doesn't go flying. And I've just whacked off the ends of this asparagus. Good, just throw your asparagus on there. Kind of scoot it around, make sure it's all in the oil. We can always add a little more oil if we need to. And since our steak is gonna go on last, we can go ahead and use the entire griddle right now. And we'll just push it out of the way when we get our steak on. Now these asparagus take a few more minutes than the steak, so I like to get them started a little early. And uh, we'll get a little more oil going here. I'm not gonna measure that because I'm just guessing here. As you can hear it nice and sizzly. And uh, you can put your favorite on it tonight. I'm gonna use some of this. Okay. Uh, I've been using this quite a bit. It's not spicy. And adds a tremendous amount of flavor. We're gonna put this on our steak as well so we keep the same profile going. Throw a little cheese on it. I'll probably add a little more cheese at the end as well. And uh, just keep moving that around. Make sure it's all in the oil. Guys, I do not have my tripod out here with me tonight. Because we're doing a little RVing. But we gotta eat, so I figured I might as well show you how we do it. And uh, we are very close to the airport, so I apologize. For it. We got a lot of uh, helicopters and planes flying over, over us here. Uh, we're about five miles from the strip in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, what I like to do with my Blue Rhino Razor Grill, or I should say griddle, I guess, is uh, just shut the lid on it and let it heat and steam a little bit. And I've got these set down to low right now, but it's plenty hot. I'm gonna give that about five minutes, stir it up again, and um, get our steaks ready. I guess tonight we got two New York strips, about the half inch thick. I'm just gonna smear just a tiny bit of oil on it. We're gonna put some oil on the griddle as well. So we just wanna get this nice and oiled up. And um, that just helps things cook better, retains a little moisture, and lets our uh, spice stick to it a little better. healthy dose on. And, uh, and these have been sitting out for a while. You want to leave them out for about 10 minutes or so. Get them close to room temperature as you can before you chuck them on the grill. Because I'm not going to really tell you how long to cook your asparagus. Some people like it super, super crunchy. Some people like it's um, very soft. Uh, I'm going for a slight browning on mine. And, um, so we're about halfway there, so we just go ahead and shove these over to the side. And um, we can get our steaks on the griddle now. And uh, the best thing you can do with a steak, um, however you're going to cook it, is try not to muck with it. Try to flip it just once or twice if you can.
And once again, just to retain some heat, we're gonna go ahead and close the lid on it. And we'll check back in about uh, three or four minutes. Now cooking on an outdoor griddle, is a little different than cooking indoors. You have a little less control of your temps. But you figure it out after a while, guys. Now if your um, asparagus or whatever it is that you're cooking starts to get a little done too much, you can just kill the heat because it'll retain some heat and you just turn the propane off. I got two burners on this one. I'm gonna let these continue to cook for a while. They're not quite the way I want them. They might be the way you want them. And we're gonna go ahead and do our first flip over here. Make sure it's free. That's a beautiful sear on that, you see that? Yeah, and we're a long way from cooked. And I wanna show you that. I'm gonna I'm gonna be going for a 145, that's medium rare because I'm gonna let it set. And when you're checking your temp, make sure your probe is not <laughs> down there hitting the metal. Well, let's just see where we are, guys. Oh, we're a little closer than I thought. Slowing down there at about 103. Blood's probably gonna run. Not too bad, not too bad. Anyway, let's go ahead and get that lid shut. Finish them up. I appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me doing this cooking stuff. Um, I really do appreciate it. I read all your comments. I use your suggestions. It's great. Um, we try to do a variety of things here. You know I'm mostly Ninja Foodie and there's hundreds of Ninja Foodie stuff coming up. But we do travel a lot and uh, I use the Foodie during our travel. I'll show you some of that here soon. Uh, I've used the griddle. Uh, sometimes I just use a regular old grill out here. Um, you know, cooking is cooking and uh, we'd like to try it all and um, I appreciate it. All right, guys, let's give that another check. And I think I'm well seasoned, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Uh, we'll try the other piece. It's, it's very tender. Went right in there. I know it's upside down, but we can read it. 102, five, six. And okay, she's slowing down. We got a few more minutes on it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go for a little, little tiny bit of a char. And we gotta be careful with that because some of that heat will come over here. So I think what we're gonna do is push these pretty far over. They're about ready anyway. Get those out of the way. And we're gonna go ahead and flip the propane off to this burner. And we're gonna turn this burner up pretty high. And we're gonna try for a little sear on it now. And we're going to give it one more flip. And we we'll move them over so we're centered up on our burner, which is not quite where you think it is. It's not really here. It's more over here. And uh, we're going to really put the heat on it now. And once again, I'm going to close that lid, trap some of that heat in there. While we're trying to get that final sear on, get the heat off, I'll go ahead and Parmesan Romano these up just to let that sit. Right about three minutes on that side with the higher heat. Flip it, oh yeah, quite a bit darker. Going for that little bit of sear. is looking fantastic guys. I bet we are pretty close to our temperature and I'm not gonna tell you how to cook your steak. Everybody likes it different. All right, my friends, we are at 145. We're gonna go ahead and pull these and let them rest. Oh, two or three minutes. And uh, then we'll dig into them and I'll show you what they look like. And we'll give a little taste test too. These are some beauties, aren't they? Beautiful steaks. 
Guys, if you're looking for this blue Rhino Razor, I believe the only place to sell it is Lowe's. It's uh, very comparable to the Blackstone. I think they're probably made by the same company. <laughs> I don't know that for sure, but most things are. And uh, we're gonna let these guys rest. And uh, we'll pull our asparagus over to the hot side now. And kill that burner. And all burners are off, but we want to pull the asparagus to the other side because that will continue to keep it warm for us while we're resting our steak. Stay tuned for the taste test. All right, guys, got everything off the griddle. Final little safety tip for you. No matter what you're doing, if you've got your little camp fire, uh, your little camp propane here, unscrew it. And if you're using one of these big tanks, shut it off. Nice and tight. Things leak. Things happen. Just avoid it. Why deal with it? Let's go do a little taste test. All right, guys, let's go ahead and cut into this and see how we did. Tender, look at that. Look at that cut. That is a perfect medium. Medium rare to medium. About 145, 148 degrees. And I'd say that's about the best you're going to get for a New York strip. Here we go. Tender, juicy, flavorful. Perfect, guys. I really enjoy cooking on that uh, Blue Rhino razor. That griddle, I've cooked just about everything on it. Go ahead and uh, give this asparagus a try. This was also done out on the griddle. Here we go. Give that a try, guys. Mm. Still nice and warm. Crispy, the way it should be. With that lid down on the uh, Blue Rhino, it gives it a almost gives it a little steamed effect, but at the same time, you're searing it. That's fantastic. I want to thank everybody for watching. I sure do appreciate it. If you can hit that like button, that'd be great. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. Hit the bell for notifications. I will see you on the next video.